divorce, human trafficking, sexual abuse, they are all tough topics to talk about, but they are very real issues for hundreds of women in the Milwaukee area. Yes, the Convergence Resource Center knows all too well these conversations, and here to talk with us about that is Dr. Thelma Newby as well as Carla McKeever. You heard these stories, you hear these stories every day, but what did you hear and learn from the conversations that you had when you had the on the table discussion? Um, on the table was, was quite interesting. Um, what we did was we had different subjects for every session. And we were, we were uh, noted as super hosts because we had the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, wow. So we did it all. Um, our breakfast, we uh, discussed about the employment barriers for trafficking survivors. Because as you know, there's, there's a program for um, if you're an alcoholic, there's a program if you're getting out of prison, but there's no program for women that are coming out of the sex trade. And um, what came out of that was really that we're going to start building a curriculum that will define um, what they need, such as soft skills, and also um, bring that into um, just basically addressing what they need to do to get back into this workforce. How hard is it to make that transition for a woman who has lived her life uh, in the uh, sex trade business or industry and now having to come out of that with little to no self-confidence? Well, that's the first part that we work on is the self-confidence. And because you have, it's, it has, it's, it's really a full circle of um, treatment and um, classes and um, I want to say, I don't want to say therapy, but it's, it's a full circle to really get back to be in the community, which they've never been in. Dr. Newby, when you sat through some of these conversations, uh, what jumped out at you? You've heard these stories, but did you find that people were engaged in this topic? Uh, not as much as I had hoped. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I, some of the uh, participants in the On the Table didn't really know much about the sex trafficking uh, industry. Mm -hmm. They were not real well informed whether it's prostitution or exactly what it is, uh, but they were all interested in trying to be engaged in. Now that I know a little bit more, what can I do about it? And did you get a sense what can be done about it? I mean, you guys know what you can do at the Resource mm -hmm. Center, but I'm guessing you're saying, hey, community, we need more help here. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I did. Uh, the lunch, I was at the lunch and the dinner uh, on the table conversation. And lunch, it was a group of uh, people of different ages, and they were very engaged. In fact, it was safe and sound that uh, do some community engagement. They were aware of trafficking, not very aware of the Convergence Resource Center and what we do there. But uh, they came up with lots of ideas. Uh, what was the number one? Uh, um, mass media blitz so that people would be more aware mm -hmm. of what human trafficking is. And then how can we reach the community and get them engaged in uh, the trafficking uh, business? Just th to where, what are the resources that are needed? Housing big. Um, and so those are some of the issues. And we should talk about when it comes hmm. to sex trade and the human trafficking. Mm -hmm. I mean, Milwaukee is at the top of the list when yes. we look at what's happening around the country, right? It is. It is. And so there's no barriers. Too. I mean, white, black, young, no. old, rich, poor are all being lured into this life. Yeah. Carla, I want to ask you, um, because Charles, you mentioned it's like you want to talk to the community. You want to get them engaged. Mm -hmm. What was it about this that got you engaged that now this has been your mission? It's really been the women that I've met. Um, and it's really been not only our successes, but sometimes uh, some of our women don't always go all the way through. They might fall back a little bit, but then they come back. And that, that really keeps me um, engaged. That keeps me excited because I know that um, they really want to make a change. They really want to be productive. But you were in this game before it was popular or before mm -hmm. it became a household word, sex right. trafficking. Right. So I'm, I'm just trying to understand how do we pull other people who may not be directly impacted or inf uh, directly impacted by sex trafficking, how they can get engaged. What was it about this issue that you said, you know what, I want to be a part of the change? I want to I want to be a part of really better in our community. I want to be I want to be a part of helping someone. I want to be a part of seeing growth in someone that didn't have the growth before. It's it's exciting to see someone learn something new. And I I I can I can't imagine no one wanting to see that. You you should want to see that.
Uh, Dr. Newby, did you see this as a good start, and where do you see it going from here? I see it as a very good start. Uh, because the thing that it did, it, it brought awareness to uh, many, many topics that need to be discussed in our city. Uh, where I see it going is now that um, there's a better awareness that people from every level need to get engaged. Um, being involved in nonprofits for a number of years, even when I was employed, now that I'm retired, uh, and doing uh, a lot of trauma therapy, trauma healing. Uh, Trauma is probably at the uh, root of a lot of our issues mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in our society that needs to be dealt with. We haven't really looked at trauma as um, instrumental mm -hmm. in huh. the poverty, in the racism, and all the other things. Understanding physiologically, emotionally what happens in trauma I think is so, so crucial to being able to really feel yourself and mm -hmm. that's for me, that was one of the reasons getting started. We could have this conversation mm -hmm. ongoing, oh, yes. but I appreciate the fact that you came to our table today to discuss what Convergence Resource is doing to help women in sex trafficking trades get out of that and become the women that you see them to be and hopefully uh, better women in our community. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.